if you blink, you will literally miss Death Stranding's load times. I've genuinely never seen anything like this before. From button press to in-game, it's literally, literally a second. And the technology that lets this happen is absolutely mind-blowing. It's all thanks to compression. The PS5 has a fast NVMe drive that can output over 5 gigabytes per second, but the real power is what comes after that. When you load a save, your system looks for all the pieces it needs to load the place you're in. The terrain, the characters, all that. And it grabs everything it needs. It then sends your data at 5.5 gigabytes per second to this monstrosity at the center of the machine, the AMD Oberon, which contains a CPU, GPU, but most importantly, the dedicated Kraken decompressor. As the data passes from the main drive and through the Kraken infrastructure at 5.5 gigabytes per second, it's decompressed in real time from its compressed form to its actual size, sometimes doubling. This makes the effective data speed more like 10 gigabytes per second. This means that the PS5 is capable of fetching all the data it needs to set up your game in just about a second. Most games actually don't take advantage of this because they want to make their games cross-platform and this is a PS5 exclusive technology, but at least now we know why